Hello and welcome to a Stampin' On Stuff video. Today we're going to be discussing one of my very favorite tools in the whole world. This is the Stampamajig and I use it all the time. <laughs> so it consists of two parts. You've got this black piece here and you've got this clear imaging sheet. This is used to help you get things perfectly straight, perfectly aligned on top of one another or next to one another, or even put images inside of other images with perfect placement. And once you get the hang of it, it is so easy to use. Really, I consider this to be an essential tool. So uh, one of the great benefits about it is that it works whether you're right-handed or left-handed. It's not specific at all in that way, so that's nice. Um, you can use it from the bottom or the top. I recommend stamping with your dominant hand. In my case, it's my right. So I use it with the stamp -a jig on this side so I can hold the stamp with my dominant hand. So if you're left-handed, you just flip it to this side so you can stomp with uh, stomp. So you can stamp with your dominant hand. Okay, so I'm going to use this corner, I think, today. It's just kind of my preference. Today we're going to be demonstrating using Chalk Talk. This has a great set of images to demonstrate this with. Uh, I've got this frame already stamped, and now I want to put this for you inside of that frame. Clearly this is something we want to be pretty gosh darn close to perfect, otherwise it's just going to look crazy if it's stamped, you know, part way up here and there's a big gap down here, things like that. So this is a perfect time to use a stamp image egg. I guess I can move this to the side so it's not distracting. Okay, so the first step, you have to line up the corner of the imaging sheet. You put that really flush against the corner of this piece here. Okay, that's very important. So you do it gently. You don't want to like jam it in there or it could end up going underneath. But you just make sure it's completely in there. Okay, and you keep it there while you stamp. So I've got my for you. I am going to stamp this down. One thing I'll tell you at this time, some of you may be wondering, Stamping Up does provide clear stickers for the backs of these stamps. You can see your image a little bit better. I don't like those. I just feel like my stamps don't stick to my blocks quite as well when I use them. I just prefer not to bother. Plus, even though they help some with placement, you still have this extra rubber on the edges and that can cause a problem when you're lining things up precisely because even with the image printed on here, you still have that extra. And for something like this, where you're trying to fit inside something, it can still throw you off. So yes, the stickers do help some if you choose to use them, but I don't think they're a substitute for having the stamp image jig by any means. So now the trick is to figure out where we want to place this. I am trying to keep my head out of the camera, but from here it looks like that is pretty gosh darn good. So what we do now that we have the image in place, we bring this piece up to that corner, okay? Now this is where from now on this can't move because if it does, it won't work. So now we lift the imaging sheet out of our way and we're going to stamp. Ta-da! <laughs> so there you go, it's in there nicely. And if I had tried to do that without, I, I seriously doubt it would have come out that well. Another thing that's uh, nice about the imaging sheet is the way you can play with it. If you're hovering, even if you're hovering a completely clear stamp above, you're still not getting an exact idea of how it's going to look when it's stamped, like this provides. So I'm going to show you another example of how this can come in handy. I'm going to take, let's see, I think I'm just going to take the same little piece of pretend washi tape from Tape It. And let's say we're making like a stack of these on top of each other. We want them to line up nicely. So we can use another corner. That's another feature of this that's great. Since there's four corners, you can actually have stamps on all four at once if you choose. Maybe you're making invitations or Christmas cards, something you need a bunch of, and if there's more than one thing to line up, it's easier than cleaning it every time. 
The only thing to remember about that, like in my case, I'm using the same block because it's just sitting on my desk. I've already removed this stamp. So unfortunately, this corner is no longer going to line up perfectly. But if you're working with multiple blocks, then you can do that. Or of course, if you have just the wood mount stamps, that'll work great for you too, because they won't move. All right, so I'm inking this up and I'm stamping it. Now I'm actually going to stamp in a lighter color, but for the stamp a jig it's usually better to go with a slightly darker color so you can see clearly. I'm using a pink pirouette, which is just, it's pretty light. It's not gonna show up as well on the stamp a jig All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and clean off the 4U since I don't need it just so I don't smear my fingers in ink because I'm the kind of person that will absolutely do that on camera and make a big mess. Just how things are around here. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, you can move this around and that's great because I can sit here and think about, well, do I want these to touch? Do I want there to be a gap between them? How big of a gap? And you can really see, you know, what effect you're going to get in a way that just hovering a stamp above paper doesn't give you, even a clear stamp. So it's nice even for completely clear stamps sometimes to sit here and, and plan it out. Okay, so once again, I line it up where I want it. So it looks pretty good. Okay, now I bring my corner back in. Once I've done that, I carefully lift the sheet ink my stamp and stamp it. I got just the tiniest bit crooked but it's still pretty good and I tell you it's a heck of a lot better. Let me try one and I promise I will genuinely try here. Let's see how we can do. Now one of the problems is that rubber, that extra rubber makes it tricky. Oh my gosh, see I thought I was getting it really close. <laughs> That's the thing, you can't always tell. Um, so even though that doesn't look horrible, if I wanted them really close together, I'm probably not going to be able to do that without the stamp image jig. So it's very helpful. I really like it. It's not expensive at all, and I use it all the time. So to clean your stamp image jig, you can wipe it with a damp paper towel. You could probably use a baby wipe. It's, it's not real touchy. It's just a clear, wipeable plastic, so you don't have to be fussy with it. A lot of the time I just use my um, Stampin' Mist because it's always right here with me and just this yucky rag that I use for cleaning my stamping blocks. But the ink comes right off and it's ready to use again for my next project. So thank you so much for joining me today to learn about the Stampin' Magic. I hope you found this helpful. Have a good one.